Welcome in this video in which we are going to see how to use the I.O. wiring editor. Inputs and outputs are coming from the field, it can be sensor or, or button and so on, and are connected on I.O. boards. So for this I'm going to create in the dictionary some variables. I use a quick declaration for this and I create six boolean variables that will be so var input and I will call them some sort of temperature. Same way I'm going to create four outputs that will be called LEDs. It will still be boolean variables and this time I will create var output variables. I see that the var input variables have the attribute read and the outputs can be write or read write. So if I right click on my resource I can open my IO rolling editor. I'm going to insert a boolean input card that will be called temperature motor. If I right click on this card I see that I can change the icon. So for a temperature card I'm going to choose a thermometer and I'm going to map my variable on the channels. So I see the physical address which is percent e x. I like input x like boolean and I connect my variables. The same way I insert another card still boolean input for my other temperature variables. I will still replace the default icon by my thermometer and I can connect the two other variables on the two first channels. Let's insert now an output card for my LEDs. So I call this card LEDs. I change the icon to select the icon corresponding to a LED. I see that this time the physical address is person QX, Q for output, X for boolean. So I can select my variable using the selection box or I can just do drag and drop from my dictionary to my channels. Ok, I have connected my four channels. I can insert a last card which will be a spare one. So I will keep the default icon for this one. As this card is not used, I'm going to put it in the virtual mode. It means that this card will not be compiled with my application. So if it's not present in my hardware, it's not a problem. I'm going to set the parameters for my card. So it will be 1 for the first one and 5 for the second one. OK. I see now that for each of the channel, Boolean channel, I can change the way the, the signal is treated. It can be direct or reverse. It means that the signal will be inverted or not. I can free one channel of my card and I can free all the channels of my card. I can also delete a card by pressing on the delete button. This video is now finished. If you want to contact us, you can write us at support at isagraph.com or supereurope at isagraph.com.